Andrew's asking braces <laughs> question. Would it make sense to make Did a you say kill- braces question braces. or a racist question? <laughs> braces. Which okay. is sawed off. But. Uh, would it make sense to make a kilt with a fishtail back if I plan on you if I plan on not using a belt? Also, would using braces with buttons in the front cause the kilt to bunch up weirdly? Wait, fishtail back wait. on a kilt. Yes. Wait. So there's there's a lot going a on here. Fishtail back on a kilt. On a kilt. You've you've heard him. <laughs> Not a jacket. I, th- I thought he said jacket. No, no, on a, a kilt. kilt. kilt he wants fish- a kilt with a fishtail. Because he wants to wear braces with with his kilt. But why would you need a fishtail okay, just to wait, get wait, braces? This, okay. <laughs> Mac, would you be so kind as to explain fishtail trousers? Or fishtail trousers. Well, Rocky loves his plus four is so much and loves trousers yeah. with the fishtail in the back. Fishtail true. Is, oof. He You're going to let him do it? Hey, I'm going to yeah. let him do it because he loves them so much. <clears throat> so so that people know what we're talking about. Yeah. 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 Fishtail, fishtail back is basically, it looks like kind of like your upper lips, um, how it goes up, dips down, goes up and goes down. So imagine, do it. Get it close up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's the typical lip thing um sorry for everyone who had to see that <laughs> i know how my wife feels now uh, so anyway the um that's on the back of trues um and they're high-waisted and it has that and then the top two you know peaks yeah. as it will or as you will um will have buttons on them for suspenders um yeah would i do that on the back of a kilt mm, no 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 it would be because when you when you when you make a kilt you're essentially just tearing it to length. You're tearing the entire eight yards straight down. So if you wanted a fishtail back on the on a kilt, you would have to either put something <clears throat> on after the fact, like sew it on to the waistband to go up higher, um, or you'd have to cut long, you know, or uh, uh, maybe maybe cut the kilt out three inches higher than you would normally want to put the waistband on. And mm-hmm. then as you're trimming the excess fabric, you're just, you know, doing the wave thing on the back. Mm-hmm. Um, neither of which are great. Um, so no, you wouldn't need fishtail back. Frankly, I don't know why fishtail trues have the back. I'm, I'm assuming Eric's going to tell me since he's raised his hand yeah. um, for the front of the kilt. What was his his question about making it weird on the front? Would it bunch up? Would it, the buttons on the front cause the kilt to bunch up weirdly? Um, I've never worn braces with a kilt. When back to like military stuff and where, where braces were on a kilt, I know you've seen photos and you may have seen photos I've worn as well. My yeah. my he's, military he's actually worn do it. they do they do both buttons on the under apron, both buttons on the over apron, or do they do one on each? Both buttons would be on whichever apron. Okay. So it, it's at least even some of the the uh, originals that I've I've looked at. It's, okay. it's they've either been on the under apron, on the front side of the under apron, or they've on the back side of the front apron. It doesn't seem to have necessarily a rhyme or reason for which one. It just I think it just comes down to personal preference on right. that. Um, so it's braces on a kilt do make it interesting. Especially if you don't take the braces off to get in and out of, because you're you kind of <laughs> yeah. doing a weird like maneuvering around. Mm-hmm. And for for mm-hmm. those wondering, by the way, braces are the fancy British word for suspenders. There's actually a minor difference, but I think mm-hmm. suspenders have the clips and braces have the buttons. But nah. close enough. They're essentially the same thing. It's the straps go over your shoulders. Continue, Mac. I apologize. Um. But yeah, they're either going to be all in one. They're either going to be one or the other, not going to be separated at all. See, to me, it makes more sense to have them separate so that you're not yanking up on the under apron and then have like that that weird, you know, two layers up top or on the under or on the over apron and have the bottom be separate. Like, you know, you see the under apron underneath. The I guess the thought process is, especially if there's ones that have if they still have the, stra- the straps and buckles on, your front apron's still going to be held up with the the strap and buckle. On but if it's what if it's pulling, it, I don't know. it's it's interesting dynamic. Well, you're wearing a <laughs> you're wearing a battle blouse or jacket over yeah, the top, so, anyways, and nobody's yeah. going to see it unless you're undressed for some reason. So 
Yeah, you're hanging I mean, out in the, in the made, bunker or whatever. Yeah, they may not have cared. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. The other thing is that the uh, a kilt has a, a rise. As we've said before, it is at your midsection anyway. And if you were wearing braces with a kilt, you had the military rise, which is even higher. Correct, Mac? Yes. Yeah. So um, we have people who will ask for buttons to be installed on a kilt so they can wear braces with it. Usually it's because they cannot have any compression around their midsection, um, especially gentlemen who have had to undergo various gastric surgeries. Um, it's just it's it's safer for them um, uh, or more comfortable. Yeah. You know? So but yeah, the whole fishtail thing is uh, it is a like in trues in scottish trues is once again a survival of 19th century fashion um there was a time when most gentlemen's trousers had a fishtail in the back and the reason was that uh they were trying to keep your pants from falling down awkwardly and untucking your shirt when the pants rode down or got hunched down when you're doing something like say riding a horse so the fishtail was basically a way of making sure things stayed smooth and neat and in place and you didn't have a gap of a shirt showing up between your pants and the back of your waistcoat if you happen to be uh, going without a jacket for some reason. And it's just a way, it was a way of making sure that the layers behaved themselves. And that reason, reasoning stayed true through the 20th century, mid 20th century with men's suits. You know, you look like old grandpa with the, the pants up to here. Well, everybody had their pants up to here because in the 40s, even up to the 50s, you had them up to here so that you didn't have to worry about your shirt popping out. But in the 19th century, the solution to that and keeping things tidy and not shuffling around too much based on what you're doing work-wise was to invent the fishtail. Um, I'm convinced it probably had to do with horseback riding originally. But um, that's there was a specific reason for it. And now you have the fishtail preserved in Scottish trues because you're typically wearing it with a shorter Highland jacket, which is ordinarily worn with a kilt. So you need a way of making sure that the trousers behave like the kilt would. In other words, having a higher rise and not looking stupid with your shirt poofing out or just a gap that looks awkward between the pants and where the top half of the outfit starts. So that's why you still have them use in use in Highland wear. Um, there's, a, there's a style reason as well as a practical reason. Yeah. For a kilt, you don't need it, as said. Yeah. The other thing I like about the... Uh, uh, trues and i think i have it on one of my i have like i have i have two suits one of them has <clears throat> a rubberized material mm -hmm. up near the waistband that helps keep the shirt tucked in um so similar kind of functionality with it um right yeah so there's, there's neat little tricks and things to help keep your shirt tucked in but that's ultimately yeah, a lot of the dress goal is... a lot of dress pants have that now that yeah a little rubber strip which i don't like personally but it works but i don't like it yeah if I have to wear a suit, I'd much rather it be from the 1930s or 40s, frankly. I, I've been trying to... I've seen uh, a <clears throat> tweed maker or something. I don't know. There's a couple different... I get I get served Facebook ads. Well played, Facebook. Um, I get served Facebook ads for like tweed Zuck. suits. Like, you know, old-timey tweed-looking suits and stuff. And I'm like... Right. I, I kind of want to wear tweed suit but mm -hmm. i don't know how often i'd wear it mm -hmm. so i don't know if i want to, want to buy one but you know, you know what would make that tweed suit look better a kilt hmm. perhaps if only i knew a place to buy a kilt hmm. Hmm. and matching tweed jacket and vest indeed quite hmm. Hmm. anyhow no i feel your pain with that i mean yeah. i'm happy to see those styles come back i'm amused by how they do a twist on it sometimes and make it appeal to the kids and make it you know it's like this is a new style but it's they're like taking part of uh, an early 20th century suit and then changing it. It's just like, sometimes it looks good. Sometimes it looks kind of stupid. Now I want to see a, t a tweed zoot suit. <laughs> I did that because I know oh. your love of zoot suits and I want to oh. see a tweed zoot suit. Oh. <laughs> yes. They did make some zoot suits out of some pretty wild stuff, but a tweed not zoot tweed. Suit. Tweed zoot suit. Hold on, hold on. Oh, good God! Tweed zoot suit with the with the lower crotch, made as plus fours. It's not a zoot suit. <laughs> I know, but that makes it even better. I'm I'm hybridizing plus four zoot You're suit. Evil. I am. I'm going to destroy Eric's fascination with zoot suits and your plus fours. You're welcome. <sighs> Cheers. I mean, this is like from your arms out. You want like just, uh, just head. head. You just gotta. Okay. Ready. Fish lips. 
fish lips. Fish lips. Stop! <laughs> For great content like that and so much more, subscribe to the channel. <laughs>